I'm going to start the recording and uh, welcome Rita and Carol. Uh, introduce, uh, I'm introducing Brittany and Joan uh, to you. If you have any questions, you can type them in the chat where everybody can see them. Um, and uh, I want to thank Penn State Extension for making this program available to us. Um, we'll have some follow-up materials available uh, that we'll email to you uh, after the meeting, some handouts and recipes and uh, uh, things like that. Um, so that's about it. It's, it's now time for Joan and Brittany to get started. Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining us today. Hi, everyone. I'm Joan McManaman, and this is Brittany um, Marshall, and we're going to be your um, hosts today, I guess. So I'm going to share my screen, and we'll get started here. Okay, so Brittany and I both work for Penn State Extension. We're nutrition educator advisors here in Edward County, and our faces may look familiar to you because we go to the senior centers um, normally between April and October. And uh, we come in and we usually do a monthly program um, on healthy eating. Uh, usually we will do a, a, a class um, and then have a, a recipe for you to taste, but that's not going to happen today. So, we usually do a month program. If there's any, if there's anyone that um, we 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 have the chat box down <clears throat> the bottom of your screen. Uh, there's a chat box, so if you want to uh, have any questions or comments, please feel free to enter anything there. In fact, if you guys want to just say hi, and that way we know you know where the chat box is. I know that uh, Carol and Rita already said hi to us, so if anyone else has joined and would like to just say hello, um, that way you know where the box is, that would be great. All righty, so... Um, and Brittany and I will be monitoring that chat box so we can answer any questions that you may have as we go along. Um, bear with us. This is our very first uh, Zoom online class. So we're a little rusty, but we've been working really hard at doing this. And we will, uh, I will tell you that Brittany and I will continue to work at this so that each one that we do after this will even be better. So that's our hope. Hi, this is just a Injustice for All poster, which just tells you that we do discriminate, where it's an affirmative action um, folder, po poster. Uh, this is our nutrition links. Uh, information, if there's anyone that really needs to get in touch with um, nutrition links, this is how you can do that. If you want this information, we can get that for you. And this is just a funding statement um, telling you that we are funded by the state, local, and federal governments. These are things that we usually bring with us and have on our tables when we're uh, doing our lessons. So we still have to have them with us. So that's why they're included in our uh, PowerPoint. So um, getting older and um, senior in training. Um, I turned 60 in February, so I'm a senior in training, and um, I know that as we age, lots of different things start to happen to our health. We start to, um, you know, have the, uh, we start to have different things that happen, maybe getting diabetes or high blood pressure, or maybe it's a heart um, disease that we may have, uh, cholesterol problems. Our body starts to ache in different places that we never knew we had. So today we're hopefully going to talk a little bit and give you a little bit of information on some heart healthy meals for just one or two because as you know I know for myself my husband and I it's really just the two of us here now we used to be cooking for a whole brood but now it's just the two of us so um, it does change it changes the way you you eat it changes the way you prepare meals 
Um, the, 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 the slide here, I'm not sure if we have anyone on um, the phone, but if we do, the slide here is um, a slide full of fruits and veggies, beautiful colors, um, and that's the key to, to good health. Uh, today we'll talk about heart healthy meal planning, or menu planning. We'll talk a little bit about some food safety and kitchen prep. Uh, we'll talk about how we can shop and uh, heart healthy. Uh, and then some cooking methods for the heart. My favorite um, slide probably of this um, lesson is always my, the My Plate. The My Plate is just a plate. It has our food, five food groups on it. It distinguishes each food group. So we know the five food groups and what we need. And even our plate is very colorful. So you can see here half your plate is fruits and veggies. We wanna be eating fruits and veggies. They are full of vitamins. We need to make sure that we get enough of those vitamins because they're the nutrients that we need to keep us healthy. First, you only want about two cups. Veggies, if you can get two, two and a half cups or more of those vegetables. The other side of your plate are your grains and your protein. Your grains are gonna give you your carbs. Carbs are important to our, our health because carbs give us energy. Then we have the proteins that build muscle. With the energy that we get from the carbs and the muscle that we get from the protein, we work together to um, build those muscles and make them strong. Because as we age, we know that those muscles start to become weaker. Our dairy group is um, three cups of dairy a day, milk, cheese, yogurt, if you are, can't take dairy, I know as we age, it's another problem. Dairy starts to bother our digestive system and our stomach sometimes. So there's other ways to get the dairy in the calcium that dairy gives us into our bodies. Um, we can drink uh, soy milk or rice milk. Uh, or we can do lactate milk. That always is helpful. And then um, planning out our menu. So when we think about planning out our menus, we want to think about the my plate. We want to think about those five food groups and how can we make sure that we have three out of those five, or at least at least three out of those five food groups, maybe even all five food groups on our plate uh, throughout the day. It doesn't have to be all, you know two cups of veggies in one sitting, but maybe throughout the day we can add those vegetables to our diet. This is a great photo because it's a picture of a, of a sandwich and it's on whole grain bread. So that's your grains. It's got some lettuce and tomato on the plate. Uh, so your veggies are there. There's cheese in your sandwich. There's your dairy. And it looks like it is um, turkey and turkey is your uh, protein. And if you look way back here in the back, grapes on this plate as well. So the grapes, Give you your vegetable, your fruits. So right there, that little bit of thinking, that thinking through your meal gives you all five food groups, not the you know the five ounces or the three ounces or the the three cups or whatever it might be that you might need from that food group, but it's giving you a little piece of it. So throughout the day, you can add those things to your food groups. As we uh, prepare for our meals, we always want to make sure. Um, our fruits and our veggies, especially those that we get um, that are fresh, we always want to make sure that they're washed and cleaned, okay? We want to make sure our kitchens are cleaned, wiped down, uh, sanitized if we can. If we're, using, if we're using cutting boards, we want to always make sure that the cutting board is clean and sanitized and that we don't use the same cutting board that we're using for fruits and veggies. Uh, with the raw meats that we might be using in our meal. So we always want to make take th those precautions. We want to make sure that our um, pencils and our um, pots and pans, anything that we'll be using, we have ready and prepared so that we can make um, this meal as quickly as possible and as healthy as possible. All right. Um, right now I'm going to show you a quick clip of a, a video of a recipe that um, John will be sharing with you. Um, it's an easy recipe. It's a, just a pasta salad. Um, so here we go. Let's hope it works. If you are looking 
for something tasty to bring to a picnic or a healthy and simple side dish to round out your next meal, I've got the perfect recipe for you. I'm Chef Amy, and I'm going to teach you how to make a healthy and delicious pasta salad. In a large bowl, combine two cups whole wheat pasta with chopped celery, red or green bell pepper, and fresh broccoli. You could also use frozen broccoli. Just be sure to thaw it first. Then, toss it all with some fat-free Italian dressing and a pinch of black pepper. Now you can stop there, or you can get creative and tailor this dish to your taste buds. You could add diced tomatoes, shredded carrots, or chopped fresh spinach for extra veggie power. You could also add pre-cooked chicken to increase protein and make this an even heartier dish. The options are endless and delicious. For this recipe and more, visit USDA's What's Cooking website. Enjoy. Does anyone have any questions or anything that they, they answered or any anything? Everybody good? Okay. So now we'll talk a little bit about shopping and um, how important it is to shop and think about our heart. Um, shopping is, um, <laughs> nowadays it's a little bit of a challenge, is it not? It is. <laughs> <laughs> Right? A little bit of a challenge nowadays. We're not going to the grocery store. I, at least I know I'm not going as often as I used to go. Um, most of us are going at least if we go once a week. That's, that's actually a lot for me. We're every couple weeks. So when we shop, we have to really think ahead. We really have to think about what it is that we're going to eat. I'm not sure if any of you are doing your own shopping. I know a lot of um, older people have other people that are shopping for them. But you can still have your own menu as to what it, what it is that you want purchased for you. Um, if you are shopping on your own, you want to shop the exterior of the store. So this slide shows you a couple people in the grocery store in the produce department, which is probably the most, the easiest part of the store and the most important part of the store. Buying our produce, our fruits and our veggies, we want to make sure that, you know, we can get them, um, fresh, as fresh as they can possibly be. Uh, fruits and veggies, fresh fruits and veggies are full of nutrients and full of um, important um, healthy items for us. Um, the big deal here is that you want to try to make sure that you're not purchasing too much fruits and veggies. That'll go bad. You know, fruits and veggies, especially this time of year, do not last long, especially if we get into a heat wave of any kind. So on an average, they last about three to five days. Um, I always tell people if, if by day three, four, if you don't think you're going to be eating, eating it, throw it into a blender, make a smoothie, or make a stir fry, just, getting, just use those veggies in any way you can. Right. Because once you start to um, not eat them in that three to five days, the, the important nutrients start to decrease in value to our bodies. So we want to make sure that we're getting those nutrients. Oh no, I went ahead too fast. Let me finish with the shopping. It, it all plays into this picture as well. Once we're done in that produce department, we want to go back to the um, meats and make sure we grab some lean protein because protein is important. And then the other side of the store, which is usually full of your dairy products, getting your your uh, milk, your cheese, your yogurt, and then the interior would be where you might grab some canned goods and some uh, breads, um, pasta, rice, all part of that five food groups that we need to eat. This slide is a slide that I, I look at, every time I look at this slide, I think how beautiful it looks. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it has all those beautiful colors in it. And this is actually what a, a heart healthy, um, refrigerator should look like. The beautiful uh, fruits and veggies in there, the colors. Uh, variety is the key. It is the spice of life and it really is the key to good health. Um, so making sure you get a variety of fruits and veggies and uh, keep them in your refrigerator and making sure that you use them. Uh, remember, if you're only cooking for yourself or for one other person, uh, you, you know, two people, we don't need as much as we used to need. So only cut down a little bit so that this food does not go to waste. 
All right, then some staples, obviously are your fruit and veggies. We always need those fruit and veggies in our um, cabinets, uh, even if it's canned fruits and veggies. The one thing you wanna remember about your canned goods is they're shelf stable, staple. They're a shelf staple and they're sustainable. They last a lot longer than your fresh. Um, the biggest difference is that they may not taste as good as fresh, but other than that, the nutrient in both are about the same. And you're not getting anything less canned or frozen fruits and veggies than you're getting in your fresh. Um, the biggest difference is you might add, they might add more sodium. They add sodium to a lot of your canned fruits and veggies, and they also add high fructose corn syrup, which is sugar. Um, so those are two things you want to be mindful of. If you get cans that have the sodium in them or the high fructose corn syrup in them, open them, put them in a drainer, and rinse them off. That'll help at least help get rid of some of that added sugar or added salt. Um, again, more staples would be your breads and your cereals, um, rice and noodles, your whole grains. If you can get whole grains, three ounces of whole grains on a daily basis, that whole grain, one thing whole grain does is it, it fills our bellies. It keeps us full longer and helps us not eat as often. So whole grains are important to keep us full, uh, clean out our digestive system, so they're very important to have in our diet. We need about six ounces of carbs of gra grains a day. The problem with carbs is that we end up eating too many and the wrong kind. So if you can limit yourself to those six ounces and do three of those ounces as being whole grain, you'll be in business. Our dairy, our milk and our cheese, um, and yogurt, again, full of calcium. This is the area that you need because calcium builds our bones, keeps them strong. Unfortunately, as we age, those bones start to weaken. And this is an area that we really do need to make sure that we have uh, enough calcium in our daily, daily meals. Uh, eggs, meats, poultry, and fish, they're full of um, protein. Uh, Protein-rich foods, again, are gonna build our muscles. As we age, those muscles do start to deteriorate. So we do need to have meats and eggs and fish in our diets, but lean meats, okay, lean meats is what you're looking for, just like it's low fat dairy for your milk and your cheese. And when we have a balance of our um, grains and our protein, the grains nutrient of carbs give us the energy so that when we're eating and um, building muscle with our uh, protein, we can exercise a little bit. We don't have to exercise a lot, but we can just lift up arms up and down, out front, out to the side, exercise such an important, important part of keeping healthy as well. And then those last uh, staples are those beans. Beans are easy to um, cook up, they're cheap, they're full of fiber. Again, all good healthy foods keeping our hearts healthy. All right, we're gonna move on. Uh, Brittany's gonna start, um, anybody have any questions, Any anything they wanna say, anything? Yeah. Yes. Um, I, uh, so let's say, you know, I'm kind of a vegetarian. I don't eat meat. So, so my, so my, um, I guess go to would be the beans. Mm -hmm. Okay. So sometimes, <laughs> sometimes being a vegetarian and then with this pandemic is another subject altogether different, but sometimes with being a vegetarian, you know, you, you're trying to find like, Everybody in my family is not a vegetarian. Like my daughter is, my husband isn't. So trying to get that, uh, I guess, mixture on the table. Like um, mm -hmm. balance, yeah. having a balance. There you go, the balance. So if you're not eating the, um, so let I don't want beans every day. Okay, I'll be honest with you. Beans is a, a, is also mm -hmm. has other other problems with it. Okay. Mm -hmm. yep. So um, what's what's what is your suggestion? Besides for that, if you know, um, if beans is one, what else would you suggest if you're not really eating the meat? Because I know when I came in, you were talking about turkey and stuff, and I'm not, I'm not going to eat that. So, well, do you do fish at all, or you're a you uh, do I you do a little bit, but not as much as I used to because of the mercury. The fish is having all kind of issues. Well, you can you can have a few. I think it's twelve ounces a week, actually. 
12 if, you're not pregnant, if you're not pregnant, you can have, I think, about 12 ounces of burger. I'm old. No, I'm not, not all fish. <laughs> not all fish. is 43. No. <laughs> okay. Not, not all fish are, um, have the mercury in it. Not all. Oh, oh really? Yeah, not, they all do. Um, I can, um, we have an actual fish thing. I have, I'd have to look for it and I can send it to John. We can get it to you. But that would be good because I thought they all, all had, yeah. Yeah, no, they all don't have mercury. There's some that are higher in mercury than others. Okay. It isn't always, a, fish is a great option. Okay. And okay. also your vegetables. I mean, you know, there's so much you can do with vegetables. I know, um, me and Joan. In our team meeting, we had um, burgers made from mushrooms, and it had like um, quinoa mixed in it, so it was really good. We enjoyed it. Okay, okay. So there are options. I, as I said, um, I'm not sure how much I have on my my computer here, um, but I know at, in the office we have an actual vegetarian handout, and um, also some information on the fish. So. Um, I'm not sure when I'm getting back into the office, but um, I know. Um, I know. See what we have on our nutrition links, okay. and see what I can find for you, and okay. uh, maybe get you that information. Okay. Thanks, Cynthia. That was that was a great uh, question. Uh, Britt, you ready? Yep. Okay. Okay. Another way to shop Heart Smart is to prepare a grocery list. Um, based on your weekly menu, plan to cook extra foods. So you can like cook, if you're cooking just for yourself, make some for two, so you can have more to eat. Go ahead, Joan. Um, if, but if you're not planning on eating the foods within two to three days, especially fresh vegetables, mm -hmm. um, you should you shouldn't buy as much. So like if it's a a sale on lettuce, two you buy one, you buy two, get one free, and you're not going to eat it within two to three days. You shouldn't buy it because um, you know it contains the folate and the vitamin B's and C's, and it decreases by fifty percent within that time frame. So it might spoil faster than you can eat it. You can also shop smart by buying produce seasonally. Um, the, C the Seniors Farmer Market Nutrition Program offers vouchers that can be used at farmer's markets. Um, you can see, you should see if you're eligible. And I do know that John has some information about vouchers and farmer's markets um, available for you after this presentation. So you can look for that shortly. And then we want to limit saturated fat and avoid trans fats altogether. Um, mm -hmm. It's going to be really beneficial for your heart health. Um, fat solids at room temperature like lard, Crisco, butter help clog your arteries. Um, healthier options are oils made oils that are in liquid form at, at room temperature like canola oil, olive oil, peanut oil, and soft margarines made from them oils. Also, you should read your food labels to see if they're saturated or trans fat. Again, um, saturated fat should be limited and trans fat should be avoided altogether. Examples that contain one or both are butter, potato chips, cookies, donut, and full fat sharp cheddar cheese and ice cream as well. What about, uh, what about uh, avocado oil? Cause a lot of avocado oil was good. Okay, because a lot of, well, a lot of potato chips now, well, at Whole Foods and Trader Joe's made out of um, avocado oil. So I kind of. That'd back. be good, but you also still want to see if they still are using any other oils besides. Along that. with it. Might, it it okay. might just say avocado oil just to catch your attention, but it still have the things that <laughs> we, we shouldn't have. Okay. <laughs> it's important just to read the labels truly. <laughs> Got you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so our next video is gonna next slide will be a video. It is a um, it's a silver. If, if any of you are familiar with silver sneakers, it's a little silver sneaker um, exercise video. Um, you know, exercise is important. 
we age because it is good for our hearts as well as what we're eating. But um, and you don't have to do this this little exercise video, but you can you can if you would like to. It's about five minutes long, um, and we can. I don't know if it's even five minutes long. It might be even shorter than that. It might be three minutes long. I can't remember. But it's just a short little video just to show you some simple at-home exercises that you can do. Always make sure that you check with your doctor uh, before you start any kind of exercising. And always make sure if you're exercising to always have a stable chair close by. Um, you know, as we get older, you know, our balance goes off. Uh, sometimes we can get dizzy and we don't even realize it. So, um, you know, as I said, you don't have to do this. It's just something that we wanted to add in to just show you how that, that exercise is important, especially as we age. Yes. So let me find it. Okay, let's hope it works. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Do you spend a lot of time sitting in a chair or have lower body limitations that make standing exercises uncomfortable? Well, you can still sneak in a workout. I'm gonna show you my top 10 moves for seated strength. The first one is my absolute favorite. in when seated in a chair. Okay, so I think, you know, you saw how easy they were. They weren't anything too difficult to do. So um, Silver Sneakers has a great uh, website, um, lots of free uh, different exercises. And again, you know, especially now when we're, you know, still kind of inside, a little bit of outside, it's not a bad idea to do 10 minutes of um, some sort of exercise. 
no matter what your ability is, you saw that that was not stressful or strenuous. Let me see if I can get out of this now. Is that on Facebook or something? Where can you, because that was pretty uh, good. You know what, you can just Google that. Yeah, that was good. Google, Google, um, silver sneakers, silver sneakers, uh, YouTube videos. And, okay. Uh, they have a lot of uh, free stuff right now. So. Okay. Let's see if I can get out of this. Be able to get the blood flowing and the heart pumping. All right. So here's a pan with a stir fry in it, and certain cooking methods will not add fats, um, like solid fats. And these are this this making a stir fry is um is important and it's a healthier way to not have fats inside or added fats inside of your cooking. So you can use a non skillet or a wok for stir frying. All right. Finally, we're going to talk about poaching. Um, to poach is to cook quickly a small amount of liquids. You can poach fish in a microwave or in a frying pan with water, wine, juice, or flavored vinegars. Mm. And you can use margarine and seasonings to flavor your, your food, like this lovely piece of salmon here. Mm. Mm. Um, choosing, choosing a few different cooking methods can help make heart healthy meals more convenient. Try doubling up on a recipe and freezing the leftovers for later. Focus on soup, stews, and beans. Um, you can say you could put them in little Ziploc bags, like as much as you're going to eat, put them in Ziploc bags and then freeze it. So like when you're ready to eat it, you can just take it out, thaw it out quickly, and there's your meal for the dinner. Okay. Um. Lowering the overall sugar contents in your diet can also be heart friendly. Try to reduce the amount of sugar by one fourth to one third in your baked goods and desserts, which I know can be hard sometimes because we love our tasty treats. To make, a fam to make familiar meals more heart healthy, try adjusting recipes by adding less fats, like those type of fats like Crisco, um, and add more fiber. Try to reduce your fat source, like your butter, your Crisco, like you would use for cookies. You can use um, maybe applesauce or fruit, a fruit puree instead of like the butter or the Crisco that we typically use in our baked goods. To increase fiber in our recipes, replace half of the white flour with whole wheat flour. And again, note that the texture will be different. White whole wheat flour can also be used in the same way as the whole wheat flour. White, white whole wheat flour has a more flavor and a lighter color because it's made from a hard white wheat berry, while traditional whole wheat flours is made from a hard wheat, red wheat berry, like the bread here in this picture. Okay. Uh, safe food handling is also important for creating heart healthy meals. Food safety tips include refrigerating leftovers immediately, Use leftovers with, within three days or freeze them. Label and date the food that you place in your refrigerator or your freezer. For, for safe food storage, keep a refrigerator thermometer um, inside of your refrigerator and have your refrigerator set at 38 degrees Fahrenheit inside at all times. And once we get back into the office, we do have thermometers to give to um, all the facilities. We will either mail them or drop them off. It's important to cook your food at the proper temperature as well. Um, we have um, food thermometers as well for your um, cooking your foods. All right, and that's it for our slides today. Do we have any more questions or comments or concerns?
So when we're um, when we do finally get back into our office, um, Brittany and I will. Um, we have lots of handout, lots of uh, giveaways. Like uh, mm -hmm. if you've been to any of our programs, we do. We have um, thermometers. We have measuring cups. We have cutting boards. We have a nice. Actually, we've just had brand new uh, bags, grocery bags. Um, I believe they may even be uh, insulated bags. I can't remember, but they just. Oh yeah, they are. They're nice. They just um, redid our grocery bags and and are giving us uh, insulated bags. So these are some items that um, once we get back into our office. Uh, How long do you think they'll be? Times at your centers. Uh, we will then figure out a way to get things to your centers so that you guys can get this. We, we don't necessarily know when we can physically go into our offices at this point, but um, we are updated weekly. I know. Uh, when we can get, get into the office. Just the exercise alone was good because, you know, Gosh, this this is forever. Okay, <laughs> this is forever. So, you know, trying to go up, make sure like my daughter saying, "Mom, you got to get out every day. Try to walk." And I'm glad I saw that video because I'm I'm actually going to um, Google the YouTube for it. That was a good. That was good. It had music to it. It sounded good. You know, but it's just like you. We're getting stir crazy. Yeah. Wow. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Every, everyone's getting a little stir crazy. Um, the good news is things are starting to open up little by little. Um, and I believe everyone will take the proper precautions to try and keep everyone safe and healthy. Right. And I think if, um, if you yourself can um, eat healthier um, and get your rest and even put a little, add a little exercise. You know, you saw that video where it was just... Mm -hmm. You know, you're, you're, you're sitting watching TV, you know, a couple of them were a little tricky, but most of them were just sitting in your chair and, you know, she was always sitting nice and tall and mm -hmm. kicking her leg out in front, lifting her heels, lifting her toes. I mean, they're little things. You might not think that those things um, make a difference, but as you age, those are the things that really do make a difference little things that make a big, big difference. And I also know that um, most of your senior centers also have someone that comes in and does some sort of um, an exercise program. Mm -hmm. I believe that um, your, your senior centers on their sites, on their um, Facebook pages also have someone that's doing that uh, regularly as well. So keep up to, to, up to date with that stuff um, so that you can um, continue to exercise a few days a week, you know, and if the weather's nice enough, you know, even if you can walk up and down the street a few times, any little bit of exercise can help along with eating healthy. And that's what the key is. The key is to eat, to eat healthy. So we want to make sure that we, um, as we move forward, we continue not to just, um, eat healthy, exercise, but again, do the simple things in life. I think that's something that all of you already know is washing your hands, you know, keeping your hands away from your mouth, not touching everything and, and being respectful of other people, not getting into their space. So we have to remember all those things as we move forward. I want to thank you guys for coming here today, for being on our video today. Um, as I said, this was our first time going through this. So I was a little nervous even touching anything because I'm, 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 the, I'm the video lady. I'm the one that's moving the screen about. So um, I wasn't so sure of how to, to do the chat room real well. And all this is brand new. I was, as I said, I'm not no young chicken here. So uh, this is an all new experience for me. You did good. Yes. You did good. Very good. Very good. Yeah. I'm impressed that you guys all were able to get on. Yes, um, with no problem seems like. <laughs> yeah, everybody got on with their problems, so I'm 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 impressed with all of you as well. Can I say yes. one thing? Yes. Hi, Carol Mueller. I haven't seen you since job. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> See, we're reuniting people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, <perfect. laughs> that's good. It was good to see all of you. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.
And hopefully we'll see you in our next video. Okay. Okay. That did very good. I enjoyed it. Okay. Stay well, everyone. Right. Thanks, Stay everybody. Uh, I have your email addresses. I will send you the handouts. Um, I will send you some information about some other programming that you can find on our YouTube channel and on uh, Facebook Live when they're actually happening uh, because we've got a lot of exercise classes. We've got some art classes. Uh, we even started a line dancing class this week with a really great instructor. It was a terrific class yesterday. Mm -hmm. So we've got so much going on uh, uh, that we hope that you'll be able to take advantage of. Um, along with the handouts, we'll also send out farmer's market vouchers so that you can look for those uh, uh, in the mail as well. Okay. Thank you, John. Okay, well, thank great. you so much. Look, look for our class next month, too. We'll be back. Okay, All right. great. We'll see you right. the month. Yeah, we'll be back Everybody next be month. Everybody be safe. 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 Be